Welcome average Apple user. We had some requests on how to install the UTM app on your iPad which will then allow you to install the Windows Virtual Machine or any other virtual machines that you wanted to run on your iPad. So we are going to be setting up UTM version 1.0 release candidate 1. So in order to do that we first need to install the alt store. So to do that, we're going to load up a web browser. Move my screen over here. All right, and then we're going to go to altstore.io. And you're going to download the uh, proper alt store depending on your operating system, whether you have Windows or you have Mac. I have already installed this, so I'm not going to go ahead and install it. But you just download the one to your corresponding operating system and follow the instructions to install that. If you'd like, I can make another video on actually the process of installing alt store as well. Once you have Alt Store installed, you need to have your email client running. I use the default email client on the, my Mac Mini. And then you need to go to the Alt uh, Store icon on your uh, on the top. You're going to hit Install Alt Store, in which in this case I'm going to put it install it to my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to ask for your Apple ID and password. Uh, I will enter mine, but I will have those blocked out so that uh, you can't see my credentials. And then you're going to go ahead and hit install. We're then going to go over and switch to the iPad. And as you can see, it should come up within I would say 30 seconds, maybe no more than a minute. As you can see on the iPad, it's now, uh, all store is now loaded. Now, before you even go into it, you're going to want to go into your settings. General. Scroll down to profile and device management. Find your Apple ID. And make sure that uh, it doesn't, if it says trust app, that you click on the uh, trust app. Otherwise, you will not be able to open the alt store. Mine is already trusted because I've installed other apps. So, once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and click alt store. Okay. I always say don't allow for notifications. And also, this button right here will allow you, when you first start it, it may be like that. I click it to just go like that. This is actually an iPhone app. So, it's that's why it's appearing uh, smaller like this. Okay, once you have that in set up, you're going to go ahead and open Safari. We're going to just back... Uh, Back up a little bit here. And you're going to go to the website called getutm.app. So your screen should look like this. You're going to go ahead and click install. It's going to bring you to this page that talks about the alt store. And there's two different ways of using the alt store. If you have a developer account, I would follow the first way. Which is to add the source in your alt store and download UTM from the alt store. If you're not a paid developer, we're going to sideload it by installing the alt store like we just did. And then clicking on the latest IPA release here. Once you're, done, uh, once you're here, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to hit assets. And you're going to hit utm.ipa. And then you're going to hit download. As you notice up at the top, it is downloading. Once it's done downloading, you're going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, click on there. You notice my says UTM3 because I've already downloaded it a couple of times. But go ahead and click on the one you just downloaded. 
you'll get to the screen here you're going to hit the share icon on the top right and you're going to scroll over till you see more and then you're going to scroll down until you see copy to alt store you're going to copy it to the alt store Okay, this is where it's asking for the app ID and password. So we're going to go ahead and type it in. I will have mine blocked out again. And then click sign in. And then just hit got it. It's now copying that app to the app store. Oh, actually, there we go. Okay. However, the alt store kind of seemed to crash, but it did install the UTM. So, we're going to go ahead and click on UTM. Click OK. And you, your UTM is installed. And you can go ahead and start setting up your virtual machine. Once again, that was how to install UTM uh, version 1.0 uh, release candidate 1. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe down below and give this video a like. It would help out my channel. I am just getting started. So thanks once again, thanks again for watching and have a great day.